In this video we will look at how to modify winders. Winders are tapered steps so their edges are not parallel to each other. In most European countries these winders are tapered gradually into and out of the turn. It makes for a safer stair but it takes more time to build. But in the UK for example using winders just around the turn is an acceptable way to build stairs. It makes the staircase easier and faster to build. In stair designer all steps are winders by default. We've got 15 steps in this stair and we can see in the winding box steps 1 through to 15 all of them are winders. To limit the number of winders I'm now going to click on step 5 and in the properties box change it from a winding step to a straight step. It's now gone red and all the steps up until step 5 are parallel, they're not winders anymore. And we can see in the winding box just steps 5 through to 15 are now shown as winders. The shape of the string board and handrails are calculated from the steps so these have changed automatically as well. If we just look at this string board here I'm going to click undo and redo so we can see that change. Let's now click on step 9 and change that as well from a winding step to a straight step. So we see now that only steps 5 through to 9 are the winders. All the others are parallel steps. And We can see in 3D that effect Let's click back into the 2D. So we have up here a local winding coefficient slider. In the properties for the stair you have the winding coefficient parameters uh, which you can modify here 0 through to 100. The default's 50. There is a distant value as well and there's a slider for it too but it does something very similar and we tend to just use the the local slider. Okay let's adjust that all the way up to 100. This has made the winders tighter around the turn. I'm going to click undo and redo to see that change. Finally it's important to check and if necessary adjust the exact entry point of each winder so the step and riser of each winder into the newel post so it's as easy to build as possible. Let's zoom right in and we can see that's not too bad but I'm just going to show you what we would do if we wanted to move one of these winders. Double click on the step and you get a square handle here which you click on and you can move that across to reposition the winder so it's as easy to build as possible. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.